Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he's the pastor of the Bible Baptist Church in Deland, Florida, and this is the second printing of the book. The first printing was back in 2004, and this second printing was done in 2005, and this was a devotional type of book where Brother James has different topics and outlines for each day of the year, and we've come to this 23rd day of the month of August, and this is going to be a two-part message on the death of Isaac, part one today, and then part two tomorrow, and then on the 25th, we'll go over notes on Genesis 36, and this is the only um, topic we have on Genesis 36, and then we'll be going into Genesis 37 on this lengthy series of messages on Joseph, hated of his brethren, and we'll read the entire chapter uh, one time around, and then get into this lengthy topic here. I think there's like 12 um, messages here, so there are actually 10 on this series of messages on Joseph hated of his brethren, so that'll be um, for the next few weeks, so amen. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and read um, the passage there about uh, the death of Isaac yeah, before we get into the topic, but first I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already, and that is the most important thing you can ever do is Trust Jesus, believe on him, and he'll wash away all your sin, give you eternal life, and then he'll come and dwell in you, or inside of you, in your um, soul, and separate your soul from your uh, flesh. And that's a circumcision made without hands, made by God himself, and all that. So that happens, and uh, he'll teach and guide you all the truth as you uh, desire to live for him each and every day, and all that. And Brother uh, Jay Hill had a really good message last night. Um, think on these things from Philippians 4 verse 8. So go check that out if you've not listened to that yet. And so, amen. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll read um, verses 27 through 29 of chapter 35. And it says here, And Jacob came unto Isaac his father at Mamre unto the city of Arba, which is in Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned, and the days of Isaac were an hundred and fourscore years. And Isaac gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. And so that's the passages there from chapter 35. And now let's go ahead and open up the book here and get into part one on this two-part series of messages titled The Death of Isaac for this 23rd day of August, and then tomorrow the 24th will be part two. All right, so Brother James writes this on the topic of the death of Isaac, part one. He says here, In order that the record of Isaac's life may be rounded off, mention uh, is made at this point of his death, though as a matter of fact, he lived until Joseph was 30 years old, or 13 years old after his sale in, in Egypt. The statement is put in here after the an analogy of earlier accounts, and that's chapter 11, verse 32 and 25, 8, to prepare the way for dealing solely with the record of Jacob as the head of the family. So interesting um, there. Isaac was spared for over 40 years beyond the time when he expected to die, that's chapter 27, verses 1 through 2, and the years after Jacob's return uh, must have been a very precious time of fellowship with his son as he waited for the call of God. Hmm. The description of his death is noteworthy. He gave up the ghost and died. The wording indicates to two separate events happening simultaneously as he yielded up the spirit to God, who gave it. The phrase used of Rachel, verse 18, is worth comparing, as her soul was in departing. The difference is suggestive of their different ages and the circumstances of their deaths. The idea is essentially the same, but it seems as though Isaac was ready and willing, while Rachel sought to cling to life. So he was ready 
and willing to go while Rachel uh, sought to clean the life, uh, to depart or to give up the ghost is not to be annihilated, but to enter upon a new state, a new life in the presence of God. Hallelujah. The old fathers did indeed look for more than transitionary uh, promises. So uh, they had respect unto the living God and to the city which he had prepared for them. Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, Isaac was also gathered to his people, which gives another beautiful suggestion of the life to come, that of reunion with those whom we have loved and lost a while. So, that's right. Uh, it is plain from these expressions that death is the separation of the soul from the body, but it is certainly not to be thought of as the end of one's life, right? So, certainly isn't the end of one's life. So, amen. So, hopefully you've trusted Jesus and will be going to spend an eternity with him and all that. So, good little topic there on this first part on the death of Isaac. And so that is it for today. And tomorrow will be part two on the death of Isaac for the 24th. And then the 25th, we have notes on Genesis 36, and we'll read that in its entirety uh, there. And then on the 20, so on the 25th, we have notes on Genesis 36. And then on the 26th, we'll start this 10-part series of messages on Joseph hated of his brethren, part 1, Genesis 37. And this goes all the way to the 5th or 6th, I think it is. So it says here the 6th, but I'll explain to you that it actually would be the 5th because uh, um, something happened where the 31st got left out of the book and then Brother James ended up putting it back in at the end of the book. So I'll explain that to you when we get to that day. Um, and if you have a copy of the book, you probably know what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> all right, so that'll be for the next few weeks there. Uh, these topics all the way through the um, 6th, I think it was, or the 7th. So, all right, so that's it for today. And again, this is a copy of the book I have, and you can um, find most of Brother James's books at www.jameswnox.org, or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org, and look up his books that way. And this book is not in print right now, but it will be in print again one day uh, soon, and it'll be a chapter by chapter, verse by verse commentary. Or as I said earlier, this one was a devotional type of commentary that he did, and I'm not sure if he'll be putting these uh, topics in with the rest of the book when it gets put back out uh, to buy or um, to uh, get there um, from the website, and you can get a PDF file of this particular book. I'm not sure if it's on the website or not, but I'm sure you can contact somebody from the church to find out how to get the PDF file of this particular book if you're interested in getting it, or you can take notes as you watch this uh, broadcast as I'm reading it to you, and uh, the ways you can watch uh, the broadcast here is uh, either on Facebook or the YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel is Ambassador for uh, Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast, and look me up that way, and like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the uh, YouTube channel there, and then for the church YouTube channel, that's James Knox Sermon's YouTube channel there on YouTube. And that's where you can find video presentations of all the sermons uh, from Brother James, past and present, and uh, other men that teach and preach the God's Word, including Brother Jay Hill, who brought the message from last night. So check that out. Um, think on these things from Philippians 4, 8. So, and uh, continue to pray for Brother James and Sister Lillian as they are uh, away right now um, on a little excursion to uh, get away and just kind of enjoy life and 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 all that, and pray for his health, and that they can um, figure out how to uh, treat this cancer that he has been diagnosed with, and we know that the Lord is the great physician, and he can touch his body and take it away as he sees fit, and then continue to use um, Brother James and all that, and then Brother David Brown, uh, assistant pastor there, a youth pastor, so it's uh, he's been stepping up a little bit more, and pray for him and, all, uh, and his family there, and all the men that teach and preach through the Bible at the Bible Baptist Church, and uh, amen for them. And that is uh, about it 
for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.